In this After Effects tutorial, we'll learn how to create an invisible circle that expands and pushes away typography using Newton. So, I've already prepared my typography. Here I have two text layers. I start by converting them to shape layers. I can now delete the text layers since they're no longer needed. Next, I launch Newton. Newton detects several shapes within my shape layers, so I ask it to separate them. Each letter becomes an individual layer. Once the separation is complete, Newton displays a warning. I have a lot of layers with many polygons, which could slow down the simulation. Thanks, Newton. But we're moving forward anyway. I close Newton and go back into After Effects. I select all my layers and center their anchor points on their contents. Now I create a circle. I center it in my composition and assign it a different color to make it easier to spot. I rename this layer, assign it a label, and animate its scale over 6 seconds using two keyframes. Then I enable expressions, simply to prevent Newton from turning the object dynamic after the last keyframe when it's set to kinematic. I relaunch Newton. Since I modified the anchor points, I reset the scene so Newton can retrieve the correct positions. Then, I select all my letter layers with the black color using the keyboard shortcut C. I set mesh precision to zero and check use convex hull to speed up the simulation. Next, I select my circle and set it to kinematic so it follows the animation created in After Effects. I turn off gravity, increase substeps to six, and lower the collision tolerance. Let's see what we get. It's not in real time, the objects are fairly complex, but the result is exactly what I was aiming for. If I'm happy with it, I render the simulation. Back in After Effects, I open the new composition, hide the circle, and here's the result. And with a bit of editing, this is what I get. Now you know how to push typography using a simple animated circle and Newton. A simple technique, but visually very effective. Now it's your turn. See you in the next tutorial.